Uh, I think the video stopped. I'm not sure how far it went. I was talking about my animals helping me with my restless leg syndrome and stuff, but hopefully I didn't. I got that all. But if not, oh well. I got an excuse. I got MS. I had a brain fart. Didn't finish my what I was talking about. <laughs> but I think it's time to work up the rest of the way to the hill. Looks like the cat's not going to get off his ass. Come visit me. So I'm going to put you in my pocket. And we'll walk up the hill. Oh. Uh, it's a nice light wind day today, so we might have some nice water field effects <laughs> when we get up there if we don't get rained on first. So I will talk to you on the way up. Now, this is a slight incline. Hopefully, you can see something. But this is a tiny hill that I'm going up, and this is a struggle. Especially when I'm too stupid to turn the brakes off. <laughs> like, why is the cart trying to go to the left? So, yeah. It actually looks like it's clearing up. I don't, we weren't supposed to get any rain. It just got dark for a while. So I thought we might have some rain. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to have any good field, flowing field effects. That's a bummer. I was hoping we would. Just about there. Get myself situated. I suppose we'll talk about something else, about MS related stuff. This looks like good a spot as any. Yeah, there's no good field effects, which is a bummer. That way to have some good flowing fields today. And they're blowing right in front of me, but not flowing down there like they should. Not getting enough wind in the valley, I guess. <laughs> and this big mountain came. Met my wife in Montana, come out here. And these are our mountains out here, which is, which is a bummer. And in that direction, you got the Kettle Moraine. It's where all the icebergs, dinosaurs, all that stuff. The, Ice Age Center and all those things are out that direction. That direction's Milwaukee area. Go about an hour and you're in Milwaukee. Go from this beautiful countryside to big city within an hour. Actually a medium sized city within a half hour. Any direction. Yeah, this is, this is my kind of, my kind of area. I can't be in town. It drives me nuts. I like to have some trees, some fields, some separation from neighbors. <laughs> you can be way too close to other people in the city when you just open up your bathroom window and you're taking a, dump and you can stick your hand out the window and touch the neighbor's house that's too close yeah it's just not right yeah it's like one direction you got clouds you got darkness and then you go another direction you got blue skies go another direction you got white skies and it's like Wisconsin <laughs> Can have all kinds of weather within one day. One thing we do need is rain. As you can see, they got a nice green field, but you also got big bald spots of dryness. So, but what else should we talk about? 
talk starting out with these videos so i should keep stuff as basic as possible we talked about different types of multiple sclerosis uh i have no idea what this view is for you i don't know if my face is really close or not that's why i try and keep up with this view <laughs> it's better in my opinion but uh yeah, my multiple sclerosis, I spent, I spent 40 years looking for answers. Everything started out with me all the way back in my childhood. That was in this home behind me. The home was built when I was born. I grew up there. I had measles and chicken pox on the front porch. I got pictures of those days and yes it is true in those days parents did sit there I was a fine happy-go-lucky child that week nothing wrong with me neighbor a couple houses down calls all the parents and tells them hey our son has chicken pox Sent all us kids over to his house to play with him to give us chicken pox. It's like our parents forced diseases on us when we were children. Yeah, I, it's better to have it as a child than an adult. It's way more deadly as an adult. So I understand why they did it. But yeah, that's because there's things that relate MS back to chicken pox, uh, mumps, measles, all that stuff. They're looking at different vaccines and vaccinations. And so they're just... They're still bouncing things around because that's one thing with MS too. There is no cure for MS. I don't care if you had a cousin that had MS that knew a person that had MS that gave it to them and they both got rid of it. No, that was probably herpes or something like that. They still got that too if they got it. It's there for life. <laughs> uh, yeah that's a thing with people I am so sick and tired I don't like I, I'm, I play around with uh, speech of what I am what I'm doing what I'm going through when I'm out and about and you get some old couple still don't see the cat that lazy little shit's gonna stay on the couch the whole day I don't know I think he was already up here in the field this morning that's why he's not chasing after me. But, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, no cure for MS. People, people, especially older people, the ignorance that's out there, you can't fix. So you got to just work around it. And when they see me using a cane or a walker and they ask. It's like I have a, I have a backup. I can say I was born with a deformed left foot. So I have to use the crutches and stuff for that. And that's an easier way to deal with them. If you say MS, so many times you get the, oh yeah, I know someone that has that or had that or... I know someone that did this to cure it. It's like they ate an onion and now they're, hat, now they're healthy. <laughs> you got the stars that are coming out with MS now that are in the relapse and remitting stages and still in a good format getting around and stuff but one day may not be able to but promote the shit out of the light side of the disease and that's bullshit a lot of us take too long to get diagnosed and never get 
the opportunity to l live knowing about the disease and being able to live that lighter side of it for a longer time, a longer period, being able to have a career for a longer period of time, not lose your job, not lose your life, uh, relationships fall apart, so much happens. But if you can get diagnosed at an early stage, you can work at it. If I would have known this, I worked an average of two full-time jobs most of my life. I busted my ass, but I would not have done the jobs I did if I would have known. I would have went with a way e easier on the body jobs because I did construction and repair work, rebuild work, welding, machine shop, moving companies, logging. There's just so many jobs that I did that were just intense heat, intense work. The reason I did them, I was getting paid to work out. I loved it. I loved the, most of the jobs I had. I loved moving. I loved being able to work out for a day and getting paid for it. Uh, but now I can't do hardly anything and I gotta watch people piss and moan that have jobs that are behind the counter or something simple and they're freaking out being jackasses in a time when you can go pick just about any job you want and almost make your own wage deals and stuff with a lot of them because companies are hurting for people so Take advantage of that and quit bitching about the job you're at. Enjoy work. Do what you can enjoy in life and be able to live the lifestyle you want. And if you can't find that, then keep searching. It's out there. But don't dream of dreams that are beyond your reach that in the long run, you're bitching because you have an eight hour a day job and you're looking into careers and lifestyles that are gonna be 24 seven, constantly on the run, constantly going. You just enjoy your life. Whatever you do, do things that are gonna make you happy. I mean, some people are happy doing the janitorial jobs. I was. I liked when I was a janitor for an IBM building, for an AT&T building, for a Target. Uh, was it a Kmart back in the days or a Kohl's? No, it was Kmart. I I had tons of jobs. And one thing I learned from yesterday was the flies don't have no water because we're not getting rain so they eat us all day while i'm up here so yesterday i grabbed one of my abraham linkage fly swatters <laughs> and he's kicking ass he's getting his use <laughs> and he's taking every one of those little pricks out for me but uh and you can get this at artbaltazar.com. If you want some family-friendly comics, get your family, your kids, children into comics. These are ah, he has a beautiful line of tons of great comics and characters of his own that he's done, and he's also worked with DC and other companies. But his work is the best. I love it. I love everything he does. You can watch his live YouTube's if you want. Or catch his old ones and all part of the Oh Yeah Comics group, which I'm part of. Uh, I like Pink very much, Lois. 
another Facebook group that's part of it. But yeah, Art Baltazar and Franco, great team of characters, making some awesome characters and bringing them into our world. An awesome way to get your hands on a good deal of books to teach your kids about comics. And Abraham Linkage is a uh, one of his newer comics and it is a blast not what i thought it was going to be way more fun but check it out and you can hear my review on my podcast from the past but yeah you just gotta watch what people say and how they treat us treat anybody with a chronic condition and how they look at us they just don't their ig their ignorance can be very disappointing very demeaning very very mean spirited but lots of people out there think they know the answers the cures they've seen it they know people that have dealt with it any type of thing you have, someone will say that they know someone with it or had it or whatever, and they have answers. That's how this world works. But I'm wiped out. I've gone long enough. I gotta take a break. Hopefully the other video worked out good and I can link these two together, but I gotta end this for today and hopefully we'll get into more, more of these as the weeks go on let's keep talking about my journey with ms and whatever i can think of ways to help other people with ms and kick the shit out of these flies go abraham go <laughs> you fly cooking sausage mofo uh yeah that's it for today be good to yourself, be good to everybody else. Please give me a like, a thumbs up on this video if you could. Uh, tell a friend, subscribe if you could. It helps me at least try and get some new new people to check me out. And uh, one last look to see if Lemmy Kilmeister ever made it up here. He's still napping. It's not coming. So I'm a... Uh, Read a little Atomic Comics, I think. Get some Madman stuff read for a minute here and then head on back. And who knows what's next for the day. I don't have to worry about dinner because I got leftover Chinese. So that's dinner tonight. But yeah, be good to yourself. Be good to everybody else. We're all friends in this world. We're all humans. Let's act like it. Let's work together. Let's quit fighting. Quit bitching about how we're all so damn different. We're not different. We're all the same. We are all the same when it gets down to it. We're all spit on out. And the only thing we're all guaranteed in life is death. So suck it up and get along. And I'll be back to give you some more fun again, hopefully. In another day soon. Say goodbye to my environment. I'm going to be meditating it to it in a second. Didn't even realize I had my headphone in this whole time. I suppose I could have took that out while I was talking. Oh well, get used to it. Some days I won't even have teeth in. <laughs> Alright, be good. Peace out. Stay Genshi. Love you. Talk to you again soon.